Hello, this is my quick review of Linux Lite 7.0 Release Candidate 1. So this is not out yet, obviously, it's a release candidate, but I'm going to check it out and see what it has. I went ahead and downloaded it, installed it, and I'm running it now. So let's go to the menu. We're going to go to Favorites. You got Install Updates, Help Manual. Uh, let's go to My Computer. So this kind of has a Windows native feel to it. I kind of feel like Windows 98, but I like it. It feels lightweight and it's because it's running the XFCE desktop, I believe, and it just runs really fast. So you got like your computer, you got your common shortcuts like to your home directory. Let's see, does it support templates? Yes, it does. Create document from an empty file, but you can put that in the template directory to, for example, let's make a, a text document template. And I'll make it, I'll just give some, you know, basic text in here. And I'm going to close it, save it. Now, if I right click anywhere to create a document, I have that file that I created in the template directory called common. So let's go to desktop, create document, common, there it is. So I can create a template from that file. I've always loved that Linux desktops have had this feature. It's just really easy and helps with productivity. So now let's go back to the menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go to settings. We got about me. This is very well polished. Like all these icons here. I mean, there's so much to go through. I, I, I don't really want to go through it all, but about me, configure your profile image and contact details. It's very um, comfortable to make it personal to yourself. Uh, accessibility, advanced network configuration, and it just feels like you're using Windows. <laughs> so I like that because it's not Windows. Linux Lite Auto Login, Lite Desktop. You can change your desktop icons. Let's try that. Let's, let's check that out. So you can make these disappear or reappear. This is cool. It's not actually theming yet. Let's go back to settings and appearance. So we got Advita Dark. Oh, that's cool. It's really quick. I mean, I'm running on minimal specs here. And the theme just is really easy to change. I kind of like that. It feels more Windows 98 to me. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's close that. Go back to the menu. Go back to settings. And you could, it's even got default applications. So like, while that's buried in Windows nowadays, while in Linux, you can just go and pick your preferred applications right here. This is really easy. Your email and browser, cool. Very nice. Okay, let's close that. Let's go to, scroll down to the bottom of settings and see what we got down here. Workspaces, configure layout, names and margins, Windows manager tweaks, window manager tweaks. Um, let's try that. We got any uh, effects that we can mess with right here? Right out of the box. Focus, accessibility. Cool. I don't know. Nothing, nothing that I want to really mess with here. I was thinking if it had wobbly windows or anything like that where I could mess with those settings. Let's go to... Got time and date, software updates... There's so many settings under here, but it's just, it's tucked nice and neat under here where you don't feel like you have a million things to choose from. It's just right under settings. Let's go to accessories, application finder, archive manager, calculator, file search, fonts, screenshot. Let's see what screenshot tool it's taking. Very snappy. This, this is just running very, very smooth. Let's go back to accessories. Got text editor. Let's see which one it's using. It's using mouse pad. It's called Mousepad. It's a simple text editor for the XFCE desktop environment. Very cool. Let's go back to accessories. Let's go to file search. This just reminds me of going to the file search or find a tool in like Windows 98 back in the day where you just you bring up the tool to find something. I like that. It just It's not built into the start menu where it's just going to slow down everything. It's just right here. It's called Catfish. 
and that's really neat. Let's close this. Let's go back to accessories. USB stick formatter. It's it's got everything you need, I feel like. It's it's got a lot of stuff right out of the box. On screen keyboard. I don't know if I'd use that other than being on like a tablet or a touch screen device or a laptop that might have a touch screen. Maybe you want to just browse while holding the laptop. That might be kind of cool. Document scanner. It's got GIMP built in. Now that's cool. I'm digging that. You don't have to install that. That's really cool. And it's in the the single window mode, which I love. If you go to window right here, it's got single window mode. See right here? So, uh, I love having that enabled. Kind of makes it feel more like Photoshop. Let's go back. We got photo manager, drawing program. That's just your, it's an office app. We got internet. We got the Chrome browser, which is a really interesting choice. Is it not Chromium? Wow, that's interesting. It's Chrome. I mean, a lot of first time users are going to want Chrome. So I guess that makes sense. But I would not want Chrome. That's just me. Uh, let's go to got mail client. Is that Thund it's Thunderbird? Yes. Got that as a mail client. It launches really snappy. <clears throat> Multimedia. We got VLC Media Player right out of the box. This has a lot of good apps right out of the box. So these are ones I would go install <laughs> after the fact on most Linux distros, anyways. And in fact, I do that. Okay, cool. Let's go check out PDF Viewer. Office, database, spreadsheet, drawing program. That was already showing up under graphics because it's a drawing program. That's cool. So we'll go back here. Office. You got presentation, word processor. Let's see how fast the apps launch. Pretty quick. All right. Let's close that. Let's go back to the menu here. We'll go to system. Package manager. Is that synaptic package manager? I believe it will be. Yes. Let's see how many packages we got. 73,523 packages to choose from. So could I install Firefox? I'm guessing that would be there. So we'll search for Firefox. Oops. All right. Yeah, Firefox. So we could go ahead and install that. Click apply. And we're going to download and install Firefox. I trust that a little bit more than Google Chrome, out of the box Google Chrome, right? <laughs> All right, that was really easy. So we got under internet, we now have the Firefox web browser. We'll go ahead and close Synaptic Package Manager. Let's go back to system. Oh, it's got system restore utility. It's got uh, time shift, my favorite. I love this tool. Really easy way to back up your computer with rsync. So very cool. All in all, I really like this distribution. I think it's, this is a release candidate one again. This isn't the final release, but it seems to be pretty solid to me. So I really like this. Thanks for watching.